The sun symbol is one of the most ancient symbols in human evolution. Thousands of years ago, cultures all around the world depicted the sun both as it appeared and according to its importance in their culture. For many cultures, the sun meant time, life, and birth, royalty, and power. Our need to depict the sun with meaning has not faded with time. Today, humans use the sun symbols as both a metaphor of power and knowledge and emotion and as a literal symbol for the sun we see in the sky. The symbol of the sun can be recognized all over the world, no matter where you live. All right, let's get set up to use our Sharpie. Remember always to put something underneath your artwork when you're using a Sharpie. That way you don't leave behind any black marks because you know a Sharpie, they do not come out. So I have a newspaper here, white paper, and my Sharpie. First part is to take that shape, that circle that you found, and you're gonna trace it anywhere on your paper. Remember, this is gonna be the center of your sun. It could go directly in the middle, go up top, down low, however you want. I'm gonna make mine today off to the side here. I'm gonna hold it tight and draw a black line all the way around and voila. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the sun rays. We're gonna make the sun rays radiate out from the center of the sun all the way around the edge of the paper. There's a couple different ways you can do this. You can draw your sun rays uh, with a straight line all the way around. You can draw wavy lines for your sun. Or if you'd like to get a little creative, you can do both. Straight line, curvy line, straight line, curvy line, all the way around. So I'm gonna do both today. I'm gonna to start at the top and I'm just gonna draw a straight line all the way up the edge. And next I'm gonna add that wavy line and back to my straight line. Wavy line, straight line. Notice how I'm using space in between each type of line because the next part will be to go back through and add some patterns inside. So if this gets too small, too thin in between, it's really hard to add some really great patterns. All right, here we go. We're gonna add some patterns now into these new sections that we created with our different lines. Think about how you can use a line or shape or color, which would be black today right now, and create some patterns inside each space. Maybe in this part I'll draw some hearts, different sizes. And just fill up that space. That. And I'm not worried about color right now because the very last part of this project will be using uh, crayons or markers. So I'm just gonna think about things I love to draw, um, things that make me smile, and fill up that space. patterns inside the sections all the way around your sun and same thing try to thicken up some of the patterns and this will help you again with your composition but also later in a few minutes when you start to color oops my mistake I went back through and just adjusted it and kind of just went with the flow all right so if that happens to you don't start over just maybe rotate your paper or take a break from it and come back to it and see how you can fix it don't make mistakes here we just have happy accidents great job sun designers I hope you're really happy with your design that you just created with sharpie and now we're gonna take a moment and rotate our paper and I want you to figure out which is the best way that it looks if you're going to hang it up. 
I think I'm going to go like this, the original way that I had kind of planned it out. That's the center of my sun and all the rays are coming out to the edge of the paper. And now I'm going to sign my name down here at the bottom. All right, sun designers, it's time to add some color. In my sun, I'm going to use some orange and yellow and kind of blend. But because it's art, you can use any color that you like inside your sun. I'm going to start off with crayons and maybe later I'll add some markers. Before you start adding color to your patterns, I want you to think about what colors look good together. You already know what primary colors are. You know what secondary colors are. And don't forget about warm and cool colors. But you also know what colors look good together. So take your time and really think about and plan your pattern colors. <laughs> 